Welcome to the 700 Club. He was plotting the attack for months with the full intention of doing far greater damage. That's what federal authorities have discovered about the Saudi shooter at the naval base in Pensacola last month. Now officials are revealing the motivation behind two terror attacks in December. As Charlene Aaron reports, both could have been much worse. Federal authorities announced Monday that the Saudi military trainee who killed three U.S. military members in the Pensacola Naval Station shooting in December had been plotting the attack for months and intended to do much more damage. This was an act of terrorism. The evidence shows that the shooter was motivated by jihadist ideology. The killer, Saudi pilot Mohammed Saeed al-Shamrani, who was killed by law enforcement, had been reading and posting jihadi messages on social media just two hours before his deadly rampage. Investigators say the gunman intended to kill many more. He had more than 180 rounds of ammunition for his handgun. The investigation uncovered more concerns, leading to the deportation of 21 Saudi students. Officials discovered at least 17 of the trainees had jihadi literature in their possession. Others had child porn on their computers. I do think it's clear that we have to improve our vetting procedures. Barr is asking Apple for help getting into the shooter's iPhone to learn more. This comes as authorities reveal that a homegrown terror attack in December also could have been much worse. Two suspects opened fire on a Jewish grocery store, killing three. The U.S. attorney in New Jersey and head of the local FBI now says a powerful bomb found inside their van could have killed or injured people up to five football fields away. We know now that they planned greater acts um, of mayhem. This uh, was, in fact, a hate crime and an episode of domestic terrorism. Police say a detective killed by the suspects spotted them in a cemetery right before the attack and may have altered their plan. Officials say they had researched a Jewish community center in nearby Bayonne as a possible target. The attack came amidst a rash of anti-Semitic incidents in the New York area, including an assault on a Hanukkah gathering that left five people injured. According to a recent report, anti-Semitic hate crimes in major cities in the U.S. are expected to hit an 18-year high this year. Charlene Aaron, CBN News. Well, the rise of hatred, the rise of terrorism. Uh, the Bible talks about the time coming when that which, re which restrains is taken away. We're entering into that time, and this is a time for Christians around the world to pray. We need to pray for our Jewish brothers and sisters. This rise of anti-Semitism is absolutely horrible. We need to pray for the safety of our cities, our schools, our synagogues, our churches. This is a time to pray. In other news, Europe is moving to hold Iran accountable for violating the nuclear deal. John Jessup has more on that story from our CBN News Bureau in Washington. John? That's right, Gordon. European countries are registering formal concerns over Iran's decision to stop complying with parts of the 2015 nuclear deal, a move that could lead the United Nations to place sanctions on the Islamic regime. After the January 3rd killing of General Qassam Soleimani, Iran announced it will not abide by the deal's limits on enriching uranium. Britain, France and Germany tried to get Iran to reverse course, but now they say they have no choice but to make a formal statement, which could eventually lead to U.N. sanctions. Well, the Democratic presidential field is down to 12, with New Jersey Senator Cory Booker dropping out Monday. But only half of those candidates will take the debate stage in Iowa tonight. The six candidates include four men and two women. It's the last debate before the February 3rd Iowa caucuses. The latest Monmouth poll shows Joe Biden in the lead, with 24 percent of potential Iowa caucus goers supporting him. Senator Bernie Sanders has 18 percent, Pete Buttigieg 17 percent, and Senator Elizabeth Warren with 15 percent. One topic sure to come up tonight, Senator Warren confirming a claim from her camp that Sanders told her two years ago he doesn't think a woman can win the White House. Sanders denies the comment. Well, Louisiana State University captured the college football national championship last night with a 42-25 win over defending champs the Clemson Tigers. Senior quarterback Joe Burrow threw five touchdown passes and ran for another score. His total of six touchdowns and his whopping 463 yards passing set two records for a college football title game. Play calls great. 
great coaching staff. I mean, this was this was a long time coming. This kind of speechless right now. This was fun. Burrow won the Heisman Trophy this year and led the Bayou Bengals to an undefeated 15-win season. We'll be back with more of the 700 Club after this. I am not Marie Osmond. I'm not either. Uh, no. And that's what makes the new personal plans from Nutrisystem such a big deal. You don't get my plan, you get your plan. My plan? Your plan. Triple match to your goals, your body type, and your food preferences. Nutrisystem delivers the food to my door. I like that. You'll love it. You'll get your favorite foods made healthier, perfectly balanced, to put your body in fat burning mode. That sounds a lot better than counting points or measuring, or some psychology app. With Nutrisystem, you lose weight and learn to keep it off. Nutrisystem has worked for millions of people. We lost the weight. So did we. Get your personal plan and lose up to 18 pounds and 10 inches in your first two months. Money back guaranteed. Act now. Buy one month. Get one free. Go online or call 888-470-BIT5. Lynn Keyes took one look at her bank account and couldn't believe what she saw. Her husband had gambled away their life savings. Lynn was devastated. And then a few months later, the news got worse. Lynn Keyes was making great money at her dream job. She and her husband were even able to build a sizable retirement account. But when the recession hit, Lynn's husband was laid off. That's when Lynn started looking at their finances and noticed they had been bleeding money. I ran a spreadsheet of our last 18 months of uh, transaction. It was 14 pages of Facebook jackpot gambling transactions, $82,000. On top of that, her husband gambled away even more from their 401k. Probably what I can figure out is about 380,000 gone. Yeah, my life, like my retirement. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. I just sat there and stared at it for like five minutes, like this can't be happening. The couple divorced. Lynn lost the home and had to move into her own apartment. A few months later, even more bad news. So July the 14th, I get a phone call from my boss telling me that I've laid off and lost my job. I'm totally like balling at that point, like rock bottom balling, like what, what else is gonna happen? So I had nothing to come home to, nothing. Just no hope. Desperate for help, Lynn began attending church on a regular basis. I figured out that only the good Lord above will give you hope. And I started reading that book and started really, really trying to have a personal relationship with God for the first time and it was just like, all that anger and sadness just, it went away. After getting saved, Lynn's whole attitude about money changed as well. She learned about tithing and she decided to give it a try and gave off her unemployment checks. One ministry she supported was CBN. I started giving and it's like, Lord, okay, so I, I'm a little tight here, but I said, I'm gonna give to this CBN ministry. Okay, and I'll give, I'll give $20 because they just, they just help so many people around the world. I had no idea. And you just see these stories of people that, you know, and I'm sitting around feeling sorry for myself because I don't have a good paying job and these people don't have water to drink. My support helps people at least have, you know, the basic necessities of life. After giving faithfully, even while doing low paying shift work, Lynn finally got her dream job again. Now she gets full benefits and is able to save. Happy tears. Lots of happy tears. Me and my girlfriend, we would sit around and hold hands and pray that we'd get this job at TD Bank and it was just the glorious thing. It was just, it was just so, such a happy moment to, you know, you get that call. So we went out and celebrated. We posted on Facebook. I mean, it was, it, was a very, it was a very happy moment. It finally afforded me to be able to, you know, take weekend trips to the ocean or the mountains and, you know, it's just been a blessing. Back on stable financial ground, Lynn says the Lord is restoring what she had lost. And I, I totally uh, credit that to trust in the Lord and tithing. You give and he will give you back 
more than you will ever imagine. Just trusting in him that he's going to take care of you. Just trust in him. Here's what Paul said in 1 Timothy. Teach those who are rich in this world not to be proud, not to trust in their money, which is so unreliable. Their trust should be in God, who richly gives us all we need for our enjoyment. Tell them to use their money to do good. Then, then they, they should be rich in good works and generous to those in need, always being ready to share with others. When Lynn put that into practice, always being ready to share, she said yes to God. God watched over his word to perform it for her. He will do the same for you. Well, the Lockmans were stressed out about money. Like many Americans, they were living paycheck to paycheck. Then one day, this couple made a decision that tripled their income. During their first year of marriage, Josh and Liz Lockman saved enough money to move from Indiana to Redding, California, where they enrolled in Bethel School of Ministry. But before long, they were running out of money. We went with a lot of faith that God would do great things, and it actually turned out to be very hard. I was stressed out about finances, like most of the time. Josh kept trying to get jobs while we were in Redding, California and um, no jobs were coming. We really felt like if we didn't get financial provision, we'd have to go home down to pro less than $5 and starting to get behind on some of the bills. When there was income, Josh and Liz were always faithful to tithe, a discipline they both practiced since they were young. So it wasn't ever a question of, should we stop tithing? <laughs> no, we knew, like, you honor God first and then um, he'll take care of everything else. With only a few dollars left and bills continuing to mount, they stayed up all night praying for a miracle. The next day in class, God answered their prayer when their teacher, Chris Vallotton, made an announcement. Anyone that is gonna go home if money doesn't come in, um, stand up. And so Josh and I, of course, we stood up. And then Chris Vallotton asked the other students to give money to the ones that needed it. And a bunch of students swarmed us. And then from then on, we had you know, more miracles and just a consistent flow. Miracles just kept coming. I mean, it was a direct answer to prayer. So and we got enough money to, to encourage us and to keep going. He definitely showed up. <laughs> yeah. They finished the year of school and moved back to Indiana where Josh got a job in construction. Still, they live paycheck to paycheck. Frustrated, Josh turned to the Bible for answers. I'd get uh, verses on financial provision, write them on three by five cards and, and memorize them, meditate on them. I saw it was his will and his word to provide and bless his kids. And I started to have faith for that. So with new confidence, they once again turned to God for help when they needed an idea for a second income. And we both knelt down together by the bed and we asked God for a second income. I saw a picture in my mind of a honeybee and Josh saw a picture of a honey stick. Um, and we saw it separately and we'd never talked about beekeeping before. What God was speaking to me was that was honeybees would be a second income. They began keeping bees and selling honey. They then moved to the Atlanta area and Josh added bee removal services. Soon, the business was thriving. At the time, I had no idea what, what it would become. It was just almost started like a hobby more than a second income, but they grew it beyond my wildest expectations. So what happened is we tripled our income. So from what we had before. Josh and Liz believe their success stems from their commitment to trust God and tithe. One ministry they give to is CBN. We know in God's word that it says, give and it shall be given to you, pressed down, shaken together. And so for us, it, um, when we give to God and we look for good ground where we like, that's a good ministry to give to, um, we know we're gonna reap a good harvest. And when we have access to his generosity and we can ask for anything, we end up becoming generous and we end up seeing that we can never outgive God ever. As they look to the future, Josh and Liz believe God will continue to provide as they trust him with their lives and finances. I'm just confident that he'll, he'll provide and I don't have to worry. He says, seek first his kingdom and everything will be added unto you. And I found that to be very true. 
Tithing is fundamental, and with that we learn the generous heart of God. Generosity is part of the gospel. For God so loved the world that he gave. And when we get that, and we understand that, and we understand the origin of it, well, then we're more than willing to tithe. We want to do it cheerfully. We want to do it generously. Tithing goes all the way back to Genesis. The first time it was Abraham tithed to Mel Melchizedek. Here's the second time it's mentioned. It's Abraham's grandson, Jacob. It's from Genesis 28. Jacob made a vow saying, if God will be with me, keep me in this way that I am going, give me bread to eat, clothing to put on so that I come back to my father's house in peace, then the Lord shall be my God. And this stone, which I have set up as a pillar, shall be God's house. And all that you give me, I will surely give a tenth to you. Now, the original Hebrew, it's a double uh, mention of the word masar. The, there's, that's the Hebrew word for tithing. And so it's giving a tenth, I will give a tenth of it to you. And it's interpreted by the rabbis as giving repeatedly. And some say Jacob gave a double tithe. What is clear from what he lived is that he tithed on everything. He tithed on his flocks. He even tithed, tithed on his children. Levi became a priest, a whole tribe of priests, because Jacob fulfilled his vow. He said, I'm going to tithe. I'm going to tithe repeatedly. I'm going to tithe on everything. And the Lockmans did the same thing. They asked God for a second income. They were tithing on that. Then they got a third income. They were tithing on that. They love to tithe because they get the principle. God is generous. He wants us to be like him. He wants us to be generous as well. Now, I've got some great news. We've got a challenge from existing CBN partners. They love giving to CBN. They want to be generous, and they want to encourage others to be generous. They will match your giving dollar for dollar, $65,000. Let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing over this. We ask for blessing over your word, that you would send it into people's hearts and you would turn them, Lord God, that they would, would know just how generous you are, how much you want to open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing they cannot contain. Speak to your children today, Lord, for we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 65,000 is the challenge amount. What are we asking you to do? Well, we're asking you to join the 700 Club. How much is that? Well, it's just $20 a month. Some of you can join at a higher level. We have 700 Club Gold for you at $40 a month. We also have 1,000 Club. That's $1,000 a year. That breaks out to $84 a month. At whatever level, call us now, 1-800-700-7000, or you can give online, cbn.com slash give, or text CBN to 71777. Either way, do it now, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? CBN shows can be seen around the world. When we first started nearly 60 years ago, we had trouble getting our signal around the block. So how did CBN become a global ministry? Well, Pat Robertson reveals the secrets in his new book, The 10 Laws for Success. He founded one of the world's largest television ministries. Welcome, folks, to the 700 Club. Formed a global relief organization demonstrating God's love in action. Thank you for helping us. Established a leading university. Graduates, flip your tassels. And became a New York Times best-selling author. Now, Pat Robertson wants to share with you significant insights learned from a lifetime in the Word of God. In his latest book, 10 Laws for Success, Keys to Win in Work, Family, and Finance, you'll discover the laws that govern success and how they can work for you. A real-world guidebook that can revolutionize your life. Call now, 1-800-700-7000, or go to cbn.com to receive Pat Robertson's latest book, 10 Laws for Success. 
I'm excited for you to receive this because it's filled with principles from the Word of God that will impact your life and mine in godly ways, in ways that are things that I know you're praying for, hoping for, needing in your life. You need to have this, and it's our gift to you when you join the 700 Club today. So there's our toll-free number. It's 1-800-700-7000. Give us a call. Just say you want to join the 700 Club. We'll get this gift out to you right away. Gordon? Barbara Kaisman turned $2 t-shirts into her own fashion line. There's a simple reason for her success. It wasn't an eye for design, it was a heart to give. Barbara Kaisman always dreamed of having her own clothing line. I put my hand to designing in my 30s, but I could tell it was over my head, and I just could not do it at that age with a two-year-old. She and her husband already ran a photography business together, and that had financial challenges of its own. When you're self-employed, you don't know when your next paycheck is coming in. There were times the couple couldn't even pay the rent on their Chicago loft apartment. Then the two became Christians and learned the importance of giving 10% to God. My first thoughts about tithing was, I don't think I can afford it. They decided to give at church anyway. It's because we did need help. We needed supernatural help. As Soon as we start giving, the Lord blessed their business immediately increased, and so did their giving. When they needed more money, they even gave in advance. I said, God, I only have 1,200 in my account. I need 1,500. Here's $150, because I just know you're gonna bring it in, and he would. The Holy Spirit says, Barb, I want you to go get your tax returns out for the last five years. I wanna show you what I've done. He had doubled my income every year for five years. I did what he told me to do, and when I realized that I could now give God, it released me to give as much as I wanted to give and sometimes as much as I could give. Meanwhile, Barbara's husband started some other business ventures. The marriage ultimately fell apart and the couple divorced. Overnight, it was an empty nester, empty house. I had all the bills to pay with one income. Then God says, remember that dream you had about being a designer? The time is right. And I thought, God, do you know how expensive this is? Barbara began refashioning $2 t-shirts, and soon her clothing line, Feel Good Fashions, was born. She did well until her appendix burst and she got pneumonia. Without health insurance, she racked up close to $100,000 in debt. But all the while, she kept giving. Tithing is my lifeline. I don't dare cut it off. And you know what happened? God didn't fail me. The hospital wrote off most of Barbara's medical bills, and her sales picked up. What I sold, I paid off two years of credit card, and I was able to buy some furniture. Today, her business is doing better than ever. Every year, it's increased, 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 and it's like mind-boggling. I do the one-of-a-kind show, and in four days, it's like $32,000 I sell clothes. Now, Barbara donates a portion of her sales. One place she supports is CBN. I love their water program, and then I love their disaster relief programs because I think, what happens if a tornado or something like that wiped me out? I would want somebody to be there. Recently, Barbara was selected to be a part of the Fashion Incubator Mentorship at Macy's in downtown Chicago. She encourages others who need God's help to trust Him and give. You can have marriages failing you. You could have your health fail you. You could lose your job. And if your source isn't the Lord, you're in trouble. Do you believe God's word enough to try it? It only takes a little bit of faith, but you got to try it and then give him something to, to prove, test him in this, so he can show you what he can do. It's the only time we get to test God is with our tithes and offerings, but realize God watches over his word. He has some wonderful promises for you. Hear from Psalm 91 or some of the I wills of God. These are his promises. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. That's what happened to Barbara because she says, I'm all in with God. I want to follow his way. I want to do life his way. When you do, then the I wills of God are for you. This year, this January, if you want to start saying, yes, I want to do it God's way, give us a call, 1-800-700-7000. Be a part of everything we're doing around the world, whether it's disaster relief, whether it's special surgeries, whether it's water wells, 
helping orphans, spreading the gospel through Superbook. This program, all that we do around the world, you're a part of it when you join the 700 Club. So call us now, 1-800-700-7000. When you call, make sure you ask for Pledge Express, electronic monthly giving. The bank's doing all the work. We can send as our gift to you. Power for Life, monthly teaching CDs. So if you'd like those, ask for Pledge Express when you call or give monthly online. Either way, do it now. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thank you, Gordon. It's a new year, and we want you to make this your best year yet. Pat Robertson's latest book is called The Ten Laws for Success, and it's filled with the winning secrets that you need for your home, work, and life. These laws can bring blessing beyond comprehension. Now available, Pat Robertson's latest book, 10 Laws for Success. And I believe these laws can transform the nation, transform organizations, transform you and your family. Call 1-800-700-7000 or go to CBN.com to receive your own copy today. 10 Laws for Success, fundamental principles of growth for all situations and for all people people, no matter what your station in life. End confusion. Find answers. Reach your goals. Ten laws for success. Keys to win in work, family, and finance. Get Pat Robertson's latest book, Ten Laws for Success, and start winning today. Call 1-800-700-7000 or go to CBN.com. Available now. If you've been looking for a self-help book to start the new year, this is it. Ten laws for success. Ten laws given by Jesus Christ himself that if put into practice are as powerful as the law of gravity. This is our gift to you. Ten laws for success. Keys to achieve your goals and find fulfillment in every area of your life. That's what Jesus wants for you. That's what God has for you. But it's our job to go into the scriptures and find out how to do it. Pat's made it easy in his new book, Ten Laws for success, keys to win and work family and finance. And guess what? It's our gift to you when you call right now and just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. It's just 65 cents a day. $20 a month is all it takes to help so many hurting people all over the world and right here at home, whether it's our military family, people who don't have clean drinking water, people who need life-saving surgeries. I know you want to help those people, and it only takes $20 a month, 65 cents a day. If that sounds like something you want to do, please go to your phones right now. Our counselors are waiting to take your call and even pray with you. 1-800-700-7000 is the number to call. We're in the middle of a $65,000 challenge right now, 30 minutes left on the clock. Every dollar that you pledge right now will be matched dollar for dollar. Your gift will go twice as far. This is a great thing to do at the beginning of the year because, as I always say, you can't outgive God, and God wants to bless you. But first, you got to let go of the little that's in your hand. So I'm done preaching, Terry. Thanks, Wendy. <laughs> well, Becky watches the 700 Club every day. She's seen stories of people being helped all around the world. And after her house was flooded by a major storm, Becky got a firsthand look at this ministry in action. I was afraid and I wanted to get out. I didn't know what, how high the water was going to get. Becky and her husband, Gary, were jolted awake by the sound of their neighbors banging on the door. Beaumont, Texas was being flooded by rain from Tropical Storm Imelda. As they left the house, memories of Hurricane Harvey haunted Becky. And I kept thinking, we got to get out of here because it's going to be the same way. And we didn't want to have to be rescued in a boat. And we didn't want to have to go to a shelter. I had a stroke after Harvey, all the stress. Thankfully, they drove to safety themselves and rode out the storm in an RV. Days later, when Becky returned to the house, she was heartbroken to discover her walls had been soaked again. You have to tear them out and replace them. I'm old and my health is not as good, and I couldn't, I would be ready to walk away and never come back. Becky's cousin knew Operation Blessing was in Beaumont during Harvey. She told Becky we came back again to help families recover after Imelda. And before the day was over, you were here. And today you're here. God is taking care of me. 
He's taking care of me. He's taking care of me. Our crew of volunteers cut out the water-soaked drywall and removed the wet insulation before mold had a chance to set in. Then we hauled all that debris out to the road. We found out Becky has been a 700 Club partner for years. She was overjoyed when CBN's Operation Blessing came to her rescue. I watch it every day on TV, and I know they do great things for people everywhere. People that aren't as blessed as we are, because they don't have water and they don't have things that we take for granted. Thank you for everybody that gives. So Operation Blessing can go and help other people. And now I know they came and helped me. And I don't know what I would do without y'all. If you're a 700 Club member, you were there for Becky and you've been there for thousands of others. We want to say thank you. To those of you who haven't ever joined the 700 Club, today's a great day to do that. It's 65 cents a day, $20 a month to become a 700 Club member. If you're already a general club member, why don't you go up to the gold level? Let me show you your options here. That's a gift of $40 or more a month. Or you could jump up to the 1,000 Club at $84 or more a month. We have had lots of 1,000 Club members yesterday going up to the 2500 club level that's $209 or more a month founders join us at $5,000 a year or chairman circle people come in uh, as they're able with gifts of $10,000 or more a year together we can do amazing things and we invite you to be a part of that our numbers toll free it's so easy 1-800-707-000 just call and say I want to join the 700 club Gordon Mr. Lee walked for miles looking for water the only source he could find was a filthy pond. He tried to boil the water to purify it, and when that didn't work, he asked a witch doctor to help. Mr. Lee's wish was simple. He wanted fresh water for his family, but all he had access to was dirty water from a pond miles away. There was always a layer of white ash when we boiled it, and it caused things like kidney failure. After the Lee's oldest daughter died from drinking the water, the couple knew they had to build a cistern to collect fresh water so their younger daughter, Lee Hua, wouldn't die too. But that meant Mrs. Lee had to leave home and work in the city to help raise money for the cistern. Meanwhile, Mr. Lee stayed home to work on the farm and tried to protect Li Hua from getting sick from the bad water. I went to a witch in the village, and I prayed to the mountain gods for help to keep Li Hua healthy, but she still got sick. We didn't have much money to go to the doctor, so a lot of times I didn't tell my dad my stomach hurt. I just tied a rope around my stomach to put pressure on it and make the pain go away. It felt like someone was cutting my body with a knife, and everything got fuzzy. I miss my mom so much. I said, Dad, take me to the hospital. I think I'm going to die. Li Hua's intestines were blocked like her sister's had been. She got better, but refused to drink the bad water after that. When a local pastor heard about the Lees, he contacted CBN. We built the Lees a cistern and gave them a water filter. Now Mrs. Lee doesn't have to stay in the city to help raise money for a cistern. She's back home with her family. I still remember the first time I drank the new water. I said, Dad, is there sugar in here? Now we have clean water to drink, and our souls are clean too because of Jesus. He touched the hearts of the CBN donors to help strangers like us. So now I believe in him. Thank you. You changed our lives. And that thank you goes to you. You changed their lives. If you're a member of the 700 Club, you're part of that. You're part of changing lives around the world, whether that's helping people very tangibly with disaster relief, with surgical help, or with clean water, or helping them eternally to give them the gospel. Let's preach the gospel around the world, not in English, but in their own language. We're doing it because people like you care enough to give, and when we all join together, wonderful things can happen. 
Now, I've got some great news from partners from Kentucky and Tennessee. Want to add 42,000 to the challenge. Take it up to 107, and let's pray. Lord, for the partners who made it possible, increase them. As they have increased this challenge, we ask for the 30, 60, 100-fold increase that comes from you. And for those watching right now, just instill in them a heart of generosity. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 107 is the challenge amount. Get the red number up. We're more than halfway there. 50,000 to go with 22 minutes and 57 seconds on the clock. What are we asking you to do? We're asking you to join the 700 Club. How much is that? It's just $20 a month. So call us, 1-800-700-7000. When you call, ask for Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving. The bank is doing all the work. You can sign up on cbn.com slash give, or you can text us, text CBN to 71777. Either way, do it right now. Wendy, over to you. Thank you, Gordon. Well, if you want to build a home, a factory, or the next wonder of the world, you'll need to start with a blueprint and probably some very skilled builders. But if you want to build a life filled with unprecedented success, you're going to need this, Pat Robertson's latest book. Your life needs a direction, a blueprint for success. In his book, 10 Laws for Success, Pat Robertson draws from a wellspring of wisdom acquired from a life rooted in God's Word. Discover how to bring your family economic success, build unity to achieve your goals, and grow in perseverance to reap its rewards. Get Pat Robertson's latest book, 10 Laws for Success, and start winning today. The law of use, the law of reciprocity, the law of miracles. There are 10 laws given by Jesus Christ in the Bible that Pat discovered and wrote down for us. This is such a great resource. You'll want to read this over and over. I'm so excited about it. I want you to have it too. And the only way to get it is to go to your phones right now or to log on to CBN.com and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. 1-800-700-7000 is the number to call. And again, just log on to CBN.com and say, yes, I want to help you guys do what you're doing all over the world. It's amazing. And you're right. It is truly amazing when we all come together at just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. We can and change the world. And this book will change your life. So it's a win-win. You join the 700 Club. We'll send you 10 Laws for Success, and we will both win. So please, go to your phone right now. Gordon? Dr. David McDonald runs his own medical practice in Virginia. He's also helped treat patients in China, India, and other places around the world. And that's because David is a CBN partner. As a doctor, David McDonald's passion is helping people, which is why he and his wife Joanna are CBN partners. When you see these stories about another well being put in or another family having a surgical procedure, and so I thought, wait, this is practical giving. We joined at the lowest level, and then as we watched more, we felt compelled to keep increasing our giving, even through some very tough times, and God was faithful. One particularly tough time came in 2003, when David had an illness and was unable to work. My health went south really quick and bad. So I couldn't make a living. We're having a hard time paying rent. Through that season, especially because of my wife, we continued to give even though it wasn't easy at all. The couple kept giving, even with six young children to care for. By 2006, David had finally recovered. He then got a job as a medical director of a correctional facility and was later able to open his own practice. We just kept on being faithful, and then as I would see stories about people who were increasing their giving, as they started coming out of the wilderness, I thought, well, we can do that too. I mean, we could double what we're giving. And then I thought, oh, we could double again, you know, as time went on. Now members of the Thousand Club, the McDonald's encourage others to give. I've tried to outgive God a few times. You can't do it. You can't. You can't outgive Him even during the tough times when you honor your vow to, to time. God will stand by His word to perform it. I've got some wonderful news. A 2,500 Club member from Chickamauga, Georgia, says I want to increase this year $3,120. Yes, 
That goes into this red number, taking us down to 27,000 on a $107,000 challenge. Be a part of it. Be a part of everything we're doing around the world. Call us right now, 1 800 700 7000. Terry? But whenever she went to find food, Nora had to dodge a hailstorm of bullets and rocket fire. Like millions of others, she was caught in the crossfires of the Syrian civil war. Her family later escaped to a refugee camp in Lebanon. Now Nora has no trouble getting her next meal, thanks to Orphan's Promise. Nora's village was caught in the middle of the Syrian civil war. Food ran out everywhere, and her family was forced to wander the dangerous streets searching for anything to eat. Our house was hit by rockets and gunfire, so we couldn't go back. No place was safe, and we went days without food. When we did find food, my mom gave it all to me and my brother and sister, while she went without. We were separated from my husband, and to this day, I don't know what happened to him. There was no food, and missiles flew over our head constantly. We would have died if we stayed there. My only choice was to take my children into Lebanon. Nora's family soon met Hart for Lebanon, a partner of CBN's Orphan's Promise. We started giving them large packages of food and hygiene products at our monthly distributions. Receiving the food packages is the best thing ever. It lasts through the whole month, and we really enjoy it. This food means the world to us. In Lebanon, we're not allowed to work, so these food packages are all we have. Noor and her siblings attend our Hope Center, a Christian school that teaches Syrian refugee children math, Arabic, English, and science. They also learn about Jesus through Superbook. I love the Superbook episodes and seeing the miracles of Jesus, like him feeding the big crowd with five pieces of bread and two fish, or when he saved Peter from drowning. I pray to Jesus all the time and have asked him into my life. I'm so grateful for this school and what my kids are being taught. I can see the positive influence it has on them. And I'm very supportive of Noor learning more about Christianity. These are good people. Noor's mother says she feels secure knowing that her children are getting a good education and that she can feed them. There are no words to express how I truly feel. Thank you for taking care of my children and giving them hope. I tell my mom every time we sit down to eat that this is a miracle from Jesus. I am super thankful to you for giving us this food and for allowing me to go to this amazing school. I will study hard to make you proud. What an opportunity we have to make a difference. My heart goes out to these people. They run from their homes. They're forced to leave their countries. They can't work in the refugee camp. Their children don't have school unless Organizations like ours make it possible for that. We want to say thank you, 700 Club members. These people are in desperate circumstances, and you are making a difference. Will you go to your phone now and call? Either join the 700 Club if you've never done that before, or increase your level of membership if you can. These camps are, there's so much need. They're in many places around the world, and you and I really can't touch lives. By the way, when you join, here's another way you can make your giving go even further. It's to use Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving. It means your bank does all the work. It saves you the hassle and having to remember to do any of this. It's done automatically. You can stop at any time you want, but it saves us some administrative costs so we can put even more of your gift right into the lives of people like Noor and her children. And when you use Pledge Express, we want to say thank you by sending you Power for Life teachings. You'll get one every month. They'll bless you while you're blessing others. Gordon? All right, I've got some great news. Some partners from North Carolina want to add 53,000, take us to 160,000. Let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing over this. We ask for blessing from the partners from North Carolina. We ask a blessing for everyone watching right now. Bless them, encourage them, speak to them. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. 160,000 is the challenge amount. 14 minutes, 17 seconds. Red number is 54,000. So call us now, 1 800 700 7000. Well, James Pogge was injured serving his country in Afghanistan. He lost his left leg and the use of his right arm. Every day was a struggle around the house until this former Marine got a homecoming he never expected. U.S. Marine James Pogge had an important job in Afghanistan. 
getting helicopters and their crew in the air and back safely in the middle of war. When he was deployed, James left behind his wife, Stephanie, and son, Logan. Stephanie remembers her constant concern. I thought about him 24-7, all day, every day. It was very stressful. One night, while James helped bring in a damaged chopper, he was hit in the head by flying debris. And I ducked, and it, it clipped me. I went down. But in that moment, it wasn't something bad just happened. It was this helicopter can't land. So you're not worried about yourself. You have to get the helicopter on the ground safely. Months later, muscle tremors started that progressed to blackouts and seizures. He was diagnosed with severe nerve damage and spinal cord compression. James lost partial use of his arm, and after multiple surgeries over several years, the nerve damage cost him his leg. Stephanie faithfully stood by him while they navigated their new norm. In sickness and in health, Ray, this is what we're all about. That's right. Even with Stephanie's devoted help, maneuvering through their split-level home was nearly impossible for James. He would have to crawl everywhere. He was constantly falling downstairs. The doorways were too narrow. His chair wouldn't fit through any of them. It didn't work at all. James and Stephanie's situation changed when CBN's Helping the Home Front teamed up with Operation Finally Home, who builds custom houses for disabled warriors. The first step was a surprise groundbreaking ceremony. The oh kids God. were like, are we part of this parade? Yeah, I don't know what's happening. I guess we're part of it. <laughs> no way, yeah. nuh -uh, not us. <laughs> then Homes by Design started building. Before the house was complete, the community was invited to write messages and post them inside the framework. The pogies came to see the progress. They're so heartwarming and everybody thanking him for his service and wishing our family good luck. We can't wait to be home. We're home, but we can't wait to stay home. Soon the house was complete. Volunteers helped interior designer Tiffany Nimmons with the finishing touches. <laughs> then it was time to welcome the pogies home. family is now settled in to their brand new home. People keep telling me that I'm a hero, and I'm not. They are. The real heroes are the people who give us something to wake up for every day. CBN, Homes by Design, Operation Find Me Home, even down to the people who gave a dollar. They're the real heroes. That thank you goes to you. If you're a member of the 700 Club, for that family, you're the real hero because you came to them in their time of need. We have a special program called Helping the Home Front, where we reach out to active duty military families who have need. We want to be there. We want to help them in their time of need, and we want to do that very tangibly. You're a part of that. Call us, 1-800-700-7000 and say, yes, I want to join. If you're already a 700 Club member, consider going to 700 Club Gold. That's $40 a month. We also have a 1,000 Club. That breaks out to $84 a month, and it all adds up to $1,000 a year. 2,500 Club is $2,500 a year. Founder, $5,000 a year. And then Chairman Circle, $10,000 or more a year at whatever level. Call us right now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thank you, Gordon. Well, let me ask you, do you want more success on your, on your job, in your relationships? How about in your financial investments? Well, we'll show you how to get all of that and more in Pat Robertson's latest book, The 10 Laws for Success.
a dynamic new book from Pat Robertson, 10 Laws for Success, Keys to Win in Work, Family, and Finance. I believe these laws can transform the nation, transform organizations, transform you and your family. Learn how to grow in your skills and talents, the connection between service and greatness, the incredible power of unity, and much more. Get Pat Robertson's 10 Laws for Success and start winning today. Start winning today. I love that tagline. Well, 10 Laws for Success is a really a real world guidebook that can revolutionize your life if you put these practices into practice. If you put these laws into practice, you know, Jesus wrote them and they're as good as the law of gravity. And we want you to have this book because it is life changing and it's a brand new year and we want this to be your best year ever. So please go to your phones and ask for 10 laws for success. What we're asking you to do in return is join the 700 club. It's just 65 cents a day, $20 a month to join and help so many hurting people all over the world and here at home. We are in the middle of a hundred $160,000 challenge with seven minutes, 57 seconds left on the clock. Every dollar that you pledge right now will be matched dollar for dollar. So your gift, no matter what it is, will go twice as far and help twice as many people. So please, we need your help. Go to your phones right now. Terry? Well, in many parts of the world, medical care is hard to find. In Burundi, a mother gave birth to premature twins, and there were no nearby hospitals equipped to take care of them. When Violette was only six months pregnant, she gave birth to premature twins. They weighed only two pounds. The other hospitals had no facilities to care for them. So I was rushed here by ambulance. On the two hour ride here, I feared my babies would die. I prayed to God for a miracle. Operation Blessing provided this hospital with solar panels that power the hospital 24 hours a day. That guarantees preemies warmth and life-giving oxygen. Violette and her babies have been here about two months, and they are still so tiny. They'll probably be here another two months, then the babies will be strong enough to go home. I still don't know if they will survive, but if I stayed at the first hospital, they both would have died because they had no incubators. Sadly, after they went home healthy, one of Violette's babies got sick and passed away before they could get back to the hospital. While Violette was heartbroken about her loss, she was still grateful to God for the life of her daughter. Violette came back to the hospital to show us how healthy and strong her baby has grown. I named her Antia, which means God has gifted us. She's truly a gift from God. Although one of my babies went to heaven, I have one here on earth. It is a miracle just to hold her. Antia has grown so strong. Without this hospital and the doctors who helped us, she wouldn't be alive today. Thank you for taking such good care of us. May you continue to help more babies like mine. 700 Club members, you have a hand in Antia's life and in her future. God's got great plans for her, we know. Will you go to your phone right now and make sure that babies like this, that families like this have the help and the hope that they need? Our number is toll free. It's 1-800-700-7000. Just call and say, I want to join the 700 Club. If you're not sure of the club levels, whoever answers the phone will gladly walk you through that. Then will you ask if you can do it using Pledge Express? We appreciate that. It helps us put even more of your gift right into the lives of these people who are in need and also want to say that when you call um, if you have a prayer need ask somebody's happy to pray with you here but we'd love to hear from you Gordon? Talia didn't want to go to school she was constantly teased in the classroom but Talia's life changed after watching CBN's Superbook and the lives of the children who bullied her changed as well 11-year-old Talia had trouble fitting in. They called me names, and so I called them names too. We started saying mean things to each other. It hurt me so much. Talia started skipping school. She told her mom she wasn't feeling well. She went from being a happy kid to feeling sick all the time. She lost interest in everything. One day, her aunt invited her to a summer kids camp at church in the Philippines. 
There, Talia watched CBN's Superbook for the first time. I saw in that episode that Jesus gave his life for us. I never knew that before. Talia prayed to become a Christian that day and got emotional as she talked about what happened. God loves us so much. He gave us everything. Jesus gave his life for me. Jesus forgave my sins. And through the Superbook app that she downloaded, Talia learned about the power of forgiveness. I said sorry to my neighbors for calling them names. And I forgave them too. I invited them to Sunday school to watch Superbook with me. One girl, Venice, came with me, and I invited my mom to come to church with me too. Talia's mom has now prayed to become a Christian as well. I thank the Lord for changing our lives. When Jesus came into my life, he gave me hope. Now I have a lot of friends and I'm doing well in school. Superbook showed me that God loves me and that I should love my neighbor. Superbook, taking the gospel, taking the stories of the Bible to the children of the world. Here's Talia, she's being teased, she's being bullied. And then Superbook shows her that God loves her and that she should love others. And she takes that message to the very people that are bullying her and it changes things. It changes the entire classroom. Realize we can change a generation. How? By preaching the gospel in a way that they love to hear. We're now in over 50 languages and we get a broadcast map. There's all the different places where we're showing Superbook. It's all because people like you care enough to give. If that's you, call us right now, 1-800-700-7000. Say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. Got some great news from Smithville, Tennessee. 2,500 Club member coming in 2,600. Here's from Jackson, Missouri, a 2,500 Club member increasing to 3,000. And then from Wichita, Kansas, a 1,000 Club yes, member going to Founder Plus, $5,800. We're going way over the top on a $160,000 challenge. Two minutes to go. Call us right now. Terry? Well, Iris took her two children and ran, but her escape from her abusive husband came with a cost. As a newly single mom, she struggled to put food on the table until she met a team from Operation Blessing. For years, Iris was beaten and insulted by her husband. Their children were caught in the middle. My children cried when they saw what he did to me. It got so bad one day, I grabbed my children and took them far away from that awful situation. A judge awarded Iris sole custody of her children. I tried my best to provide for them, but I could never find a stable job. It hurt when they asked me for food and I didn't have anything to give them. When a community leader told Operation Blessing about Iris and her children, we helped her establish not one, but two small businesses. We gave her vegetables to sell from her home and set up a small kitchen for her to make and sell french fries. Now, everything is different. We have a safe place to live, plenty of food, and we are very happy. It feels so good knowing that there are people in the world willing to take their own money and give it away just to help my family. They don't even know us. All I can do to say thank you is pray for them. If I could meet the people who helped us, I would give them all a big hug. Thank you so much for seeing the need and meeting it. This is Orange, Texas. Somebody, a new partner, $2,508. Tannytown, Maryland, 2,500 club member up to 3,120. West Palm Beach, Florida, someone lifting from the 20, uh, 700 Club to 2500 Club, 3360 And Coropolis, Pennsylvania, one-time gift, $5,000. Robert's Park, 4800 Bonita Woo. Springs, 4800 St. Louis, 3000 Point Clear, Alabama, 5000 All goes into this challenge. We more than exceeded it, 215. Here's a word from John asking you will receive that your joy may be full. We'll see you tomorrow.
Come Give on, me that. <laughs> Bye. Ah, sure, life is busy, but I found a way to make a huge difference in people's lives. I guess you could say I'm changing the world right here from home. I bring medical supplies and doctors to people in need and dig wells so that villagers can have clean and safe water to drink. I make it possible to preach the gospel in over a hundred countries, including right here in America. And when disaster strikes, I'm there, providing food, thank you, and emergency supplies to give people hope again. Every day, CBN and I are making the world a better place. Here you go. My life is hectic, so I join CBN through Pledge Express. My bank does all the work, and I know that my gift is being used where it's needed most. So become a CBN partner and join Pledge Express, because you can do a world of good right from where you are. Hi, good morning. Are you ready to get started? Changing lives is now easier than ever with text to join. Text CBN to 71777 and tap on the secure link to transform a life. You'll feed the hungry, heal the sick, bring water to the thirsty, hope to the hopeless, and so much more. It only takes a moment to make a huge difference in someone's life. Text CBN to 71777 and change the world right from where you are.